This is Celebrity Thursdays. Every Thursday, we present you with another celebrity. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Malcolm X. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, Aluxers. It's time to go back in time. Today, we're talking about a very controversial yet important figure of America's recent history. His name is Malcolm Little, aka Malcolm X. He was an American Muslim and one of the most prolific human rights activists for the black community. Born into a semi-dysfunctional family, his father was killed when he was a teenager and his mother struggled her entire life. Living in New York in the 1950s and 60s, Malcolm had a tough upbringing, and everything that happened to him, personally and professionally, shaped his beliefs and actions. Although he lived a short life, his preaching and activism are still remembered today. Some might think he was an extremist, seeking violence, and others will see him as a courageous and outspoken man of that generation. As a black American Muslim and an activist, Malcolm was both loved and hated, haunted, respected, and remembered. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So let's have a look at 15 things about his life that not everyone talks about. Number one. One of his handwritten letters is up for sale for $1.25 million. The lost chapters of Malcolm's autobiography were found and sold for only $7,000, but recently, a handwritten letter which he wrote not long before he died is now up for sale. The price for this precious and personal item? $1.25 million. The letter had Arabic illustrations and writing, and it spreads over six pages. He depicts one of his most important journeys of his life, the beautiful landmarks, and expresses his wishes for peace and acceptance. Although his views changed, he died shortly after. Number 2. He discovered Islam in prison. The circumstances that led Malcolm to prison time were a little out of his hand. He was sentenced to 10 years in jail, which is where he met with a fellow convict that got Malcolm to read more and be more informed. It was also perfect timing because the Nation of Islam was getting more attention as a new religious movement backed by African Americans. Nagged by his family, he adopted the new religion and later became a member and a minister of the Nation of Islam. Number 3. He went on a pilgrimage to Mecca Any follower of Islam knows a pilgrimage to Mecca is mandatory at least once in a lifetime for those who are able to do it. Mecca is the holiest city for Muslims, located in the Arab Peninsula. As a newly turned Muslim, Malcolm was also due for a trip to the holy city, and he did everything he could to achieve it. His sister helped him fund the trip to Mecca, but it was not a smooth experience. He has U.S. citizenship and couldn't speak Arab, which got him into a little trouble. Thanks to his reputation and activism, he was granted access and was able to attend an event that changed the way he viewed his Muslim equals. Number 4. His speeches were recorded and later published. Back then, media was not so modern or easy to access, so Malcolm's ideas and speeches were not able to get to everyone. He never made any notes, written books, or essays, so the only record of his activism that we still have today is from his autobiography and the few recordings of his speeches. Some of them can be found in the autobiography written by Alex Haley and other mentions, interviews, or press. He died at the age of 39, and the world barely had a chance to know or understand who he really was. Number 5. Malcolm X Had a Net Worth of $150,000 Spending half of his life recovering from a traumatic upbringing and then prison time, Malcolm was not a man who focused on money or fortune. He was not a millionaire and he did not live in a mansion, even though he did have six children. The fortune he left behind was of $150,000, as some sources say, and that came from the publishing rights of his autobiography, the movie, and so on. His family struggled after his passing, and although the Nation of Islam had around $40 million, they spent nothing to help them. Number 6. He had racist beliefs. 
black people were granted the right to vote in 1970, just a few years after Malcolm X died. Like him, there were other activists that tried to fight for their equal rights in the U.S. and other places as well. Unfortunately, when you pair oppression with Islam, hatred can be born. Because black people were oppressed and subject to racism for so many years, some of them were also racist towards white people. He often called for separation, gun control, and preached black supremacy as the majority race and the cradle of humankind. Although he himself was a victim of racism, he was also a racist. Number 7. Some say he was homosexual and a criminal. After a few manuscripts of his autobiography went missing for decades and later found, people began questioning the person Malcolm was trying to portray in the book. Although his legacy and image are mainly positive, some scandalous theories do rise. The book Malcolm X, A Life of Reinvention, by the late Columbia scholar Manning Marable, describes him as being homosexual, a criminal, and a martyr. He spent more than 10 years reading and researching, talking with people and interviewing Malcolm's contemporaries. The book shed another light on his past and image. Is it accurate? We will never know. Number 8. His Children Are Fighting Over His $1.4 Million Legacy after Malcolm died, his wife Betty was left with six children alone. She struggled and decided to continue her education in order to secure her future. Although she died after her grandson set fire to her apartment, the legacy of Malcolm X is now at almost $1.4 million. Some of it is under the court's ruling because his wife and now his children are not fitted to care for it. The daughters have traded accusations of irresponsibility, mental incapacity, and fiscal mismanagement of the estate. New documents have risen from Malcolm's past, and they can be worth even more, but we won't see them published until they figure out how much money to get out of it and who gets that money. Family issues can get so problematic. Number 9. He met with Martin Luther King for a brief second. The civil rights movement that was going on in the 1950s and 60s wasn't enough of a change for Malcolm. He wanted for African Americans to get back to Africa and for those who wanted to stay in America to have a special country just for them. Martin Luther King was different. Although they had different political views, they were fighting for the same cause. Number 10. There is a boulevard named after him in New York. In spite of living a short life, full of controversies and problems with the Nation of Islam, Malcolm X successfully managed to influence and remain a key figure in America's recent history. The house he grew up in was destroyed by construction workers that didn't know how important it was, so nowadays we get to see Malcolm X's name on the streets. In New York, there's a boulevard named after him, and many other cities pay tribute to him by naming their streets, schools, or institutions after him. Recently, Turkey named the street where the U.S. Embassy is after him. His efforts were definitely not forgotten. Number 11. His face and image is used as motivation. After his assassination and release of the autobiography, Malcolm's image began to be associated with Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, and later, even Barack Obama. There are thousands of murals and tributes all over the world depicting him. Some use his image in drug rehabilitation facilities to give people a strong motivational presence. His face can be seen in both poor neighborhoods as well as famous parks from Chicago, Oklahoma, and Detroit. Some of them have disappeared due to construction work or time, but every now and then, a new mural depicting Malcolm X is made. He's definitely not being forgotten. Number 12. He inspired Muhammad Ali to join Islam. We all know the great boxer Muhammad Ali. He is a legend, but just like Malcolm, had a troubled past. Back in the 1960s, he began hanging out with members of the Nation of Islam, where he met Malcolm X, with whom he spent a lot of time. When Malcolm left the nation, he tried to convince Ali to do the same, but he didn't want to hear about it and broke ties. Looking back to everything that happened with Malcolm and the Islamists, Ali describes their separation as his biggest regret. Number 13. His autobiography was made into a successful movie. 
Malcolm X's autobiography, sold in over 6 million copies worldwide so far. It's a very popular book, even though Malcolm and Alex Haley only received 30,000 in advance for it. More sales came after the movie Malcolm X was released in 1992. Denzel Washington was cast as Malcolm, and although the movie was hyped about, the producers found it hard to secure the budget for it. They spent around $33 million and managed to grasp over $50 million according to Box Office Mojo. Number 14. He was killed with 21 gunshots. After Malcolm came back from his pilgrimage to Mecca and his African and European trips, the Nation of Islam started hunting him and actively tried to assassinate him and his family several times. He was no longer a member of the Nation of Islam. Backed by the FBI, Malcolm managed to escape a few times from the threats, but he was not safe. Less than a year later, he was assassinated during a speech and killed with 21 gunshots by a Nation of Islam member. Inquiries after inquiries went on, and up to this day, they still haven't found the mastermind behind this plot. Number 15. He allegedly sold drugs to Quincy Jones. One of the biggest music producers, Quincy Jones, has made some serious accusations regarding Malcolm X. In a recent interview, he stated that Malcolm X sold him and his friends drugs when he was only 15 years old. Before he was an activist and Islamist, Malcolm was indeed rebellious. His father was killed by white supremacy and his mother struggled a lot, so he had a lot of anger to deal with. I guess we all get a second chance, and Malcolm got one as well. Malcolm X would be 93 years old today. Soon after he died, America made significant efforts to turn history around and stop racism towards black people. He would be proud of where we are today, but there's still a long way to go. Which makes us curious to know if any of you guys have read his autobiography. Let us know in the comments. And since you stuck with us until the end, we have a special reward for you. A bonus fact about Malcolm X. Here it is. Number 16. A theory says that Malcolm X is the father of Barack Obama. Conspiracy theories are a juicy subject. They try to connect and shed light over famous events and people, but somehow end up being trashed because they're too much nonsense. One of them is about Malcolm X being the real father of former President Barack Obama. So why this theory? Because if you take a few pictures and look closely, they kinda look similar. Is that enough evidence? No, not at all, but some people really do try to promote it. The same woman touting this theory is also the woman who said Obama's mother is the daughter of Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun. Maybe that should be enough evidence to brush this off as total nonsense. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.